Hey guys, it's Bren. I'm here with a pretty big Bath & Body Works spring haul, mostly candles, but I want to talk about the new body care too. Um, this is kind of a combo deal because it's a haul video, but I've already burned most of these, so it's kind of also a post-burn review. <laughs> um, I was waiting until my online order came yesterday to film, but I got some of these a long time ago, so I've had some time with them already. So it's kind of, kind of a post-burn as well, and I probably won't do separate post-burn reviews uh, for that reason, I'm because I'm super busy, like right now at work and stuff, and I've got a lot going on. So this video might be kind of a long one. Sit back, relax. Let's talk about some new candles. So the first one that I want to talk about, blah 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 blah, <laughs> is uh, my favorite one. And weirdly, it's an online only, but it's peach sugar cone. So I only just got this one yesterday, and I only ordered one because I thought, you know, let me smell it, give it a shot. I didn't really expect it to be that great, and I actually love it. I love it so much. I was burning it last night and then also again this morning. And like every time I'm smelling it, I, I add more to my list of what I want to get because I'm definitely getting more of this. So like as soon as I smelled it right out of the package, I was like, oh, I'm going to have to get another one of those. And then as I was burning it, I'm like, probably should get two more. And then I was like three more. And this morning I was like, I should get four more of these. I really like it. Um, so, you know, the notes are peach, praline, uh, sugared cone. I don't really know that I get praline. I get more of like a peaches and cream vibe from this. Now, I do like peach scents in general. I like their Georgia peach. I'm not a huge fan of peach bellini because that one's too sweet for me. I like Georgia peach because it's kind of realistic and it's kind of tart. I loved peach meringue and that was also like a peachy vanilla scent, but it's very different than this. Um, I was not really that impressed with the peach cobbler that came out in the fall. That one was kind of boring. This though, I'll tell you what it reminds me of. I don't know if you guys are going to know this at all, but Sonoma had a candle called Farm Stand Ice Cream and it smells mostly like vanilla, mostly like ice cream, but it has a hint of peach in the notes. And it did remind me like when I was burning this, just a little bit of like, there was just a little bit of peachiness in there. I don't know if you've ever smelled actual peach ice cream or had it, it's really good. Um, but that candle does a good job of representing that. The Bath and Body Works candle smells a lot like that, but amped up, like a lot more peach uh, and just stronger in general. So, oh my gosh, yeah, I'm just really, really into it. The peach is not exactly the same as Georgia peach or as peach Bellini. Like I really, I really don't think it is a repeat of a peach that Bath & Body Works has done before. It seems kind of somewhere in the middle of those two scents. But then you get like a really creamy vanilla. But unlike with peach meringue, where it feels like you smell those two things, like you smell like a vanilla and then you smell like the Georgia peach peach scent, but they're, they're separate, but you get them both at the same time. Uh, here it feels really more blended like the scents are really more melded and, and one it's a creamy peach scent but there's also just a little bit of a bakery note that I guess you could call the cone maybe um and it just I don't know it just adds a little more depth to it I'm just really enjoying this one if you like peach scents um I would not tell you to waste your $5.99 on shipping to get this online only candle if I thought you wouldn't like it. I think if you like peach scents, you should take a chance on this one. Now I'm going to have to spend another $5.99 to get more because I definitely need more, but I'll probably wait for like a, like a buy to get to with a coupon type of day or something like that. Uh, but then I'm definitely getting more. So Anyway, while we're on that note of online onlys, um, I'll talk about the other online only one, the Chocolate Marshmallow Cloud. So I just burned this once last night. That's all I really need to do with it because it's very boring. Um, the notes are, whoa, the whole thing is separated from the glass. <laughs> so when I knocked it over, the, the whole thing shifted. These were frozen when I got them, so that can happen. Uh, whipped chocolate marshmallow fluff, pinch of sea salt. I, it just smells like a chocolate bar, uh, but it really just smells to me like a like an off brand brand like cheap chocolate bar, like not really even a good one. Uh, and it, I don't know, it kind of also a little bit reminds me of like Whoppers, like malted chocolate covered malted milk balls, and I hate those. I hate those. Are my least favorite candy in the world. I know some people love them. I hate malted milk balls. Kind of smells like that on cold sniff for sure. But when this was burning last night, it was just like, yeah, kind of smells like chocolate. But that was it. Just basic 
chocolate, but not even really a good rich chocolate. It does smell different than the chocolate lava cake, which was hot fudge sundae. That one I always thought smelled like raisinets because it had like a sweetness to it. Uh, and this doesn't have that. This is different, but more boring. And also it, like weaker than that one was too. Just, just nothing to write home about. If you like chocolate scents and you want a candle that just smells like straight up like chocolate and isn't too strong, maybe try it. But like for me, in general, I like hot cocoa cream uh, and I like mint chocolate scents, but I, I don't even enjoy the chocolate lava cake. So I definitely am not into this. Okay. So now moving on to ones that I got in the store, let's talk a little bit about passion fruit vanilla cupcake. So I burned this one a little bit now at this point, maybe four or five times. Notes are passion fruit, fluffy vanilla cake and white chocolate truffle. And I tell you what, I, it, it took me a minute to realize that I was thinking when I was smelling this and thinking, what does it remind me of? That it reminds me of pineapple cream puff. And after I came to that conclusion, I watched Tina Delicious say the same thing and make the same comparison. But I, I came up with that independently. So I think there is something to be said about the fact that it's very similar to that candle. The thing is, I like pineapple cream puff like a lot. Like it's one of my favorites. Uh, and I like pineapple crumb cake too. Um, there is a difference. And the thing for me is that I prefer pineapple cream puff over this passion fruit vanilla cupcake. Uh, so I don't feel like I need to like stock up on this one because I have plenty of the other. But the difference for me, well, first of all, the similarity for me is the, the creamy vanilla scent. This doesn't smell like bakery. It doesn't really smell like a cupcake. It's more of just like a creamy vanilla with a tropical fruit. Uh, but the creaminess and that vanilla note between pineapple cream puff and this is the same. It's just a light, airy, fluffy kind of vanilla type scent, um, but no cake note or anything like that. The fruit is different. The fruit note though, I think is different. I don't really actually think this smells like pineapple the way that pineapple cream puff or pineapple crumb cake do because those scents have like a lot of sourness. Like, you know, an actual pineapple is like pretty tart. Uh, it has a lot of zip. Sometimes it can be so acidic that, you know, you make a face when you eat it. And with pineapple cream puff, I feel like that zingy pineapple like really comes out. Whereas passion fruit vanilla cupcake is just like super sweet and it doesn't have that zip to it or tartness to it. Um, I don't know if it smells exactly like passion fruit. I would say that kind of, but to me, it smells like a general tropical blend. The tropical note in here almost kind of reminds me of, um, Oh, what do they do all the time? What was it called? Like they called it guava pina colada, but it also sometimes was called like coconut something or other, whatever. Anyway, it's just, there's just like a general tropical fruit blend. Think like papaya, guava, passion fruit, maybe mango, not really. That's what it was. They sometimes called that candle coconut mango pineapple. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> it doesn't matter. There's a tropical, just a general kind of tropical fruit note here going on with the creaminess, but it's sweeter than pineapple cream puff, which was more just like definitive tart pineapple with the creamy scent. I still think it's pretty okay. I think I might get one more just because this one's, you know, I've already burned it and I would like to have maybe one unburned one in my collection, but I'm always going to reach for pineapple cream puff first if I'm in the mood for this kind of scent. Uh, however, if you don't have that one, um, this one's still kind of worth checking out. Like it's, it's pretty good, but don't expect like a cakey bakery scent. It's more of just a creamy tropical fruit scent and it's, it's medium on strength and throw. It's right there in the middle. It's not bad. It's not bad. I applaud them for doing like a new scent. It is new. Um, it's a good idea. It's an interesting combination of notes. It's okay. I'm all right with it. Um, okay. This next one I don't like, uh, but I think it's just personal preference and I think a lot of other people will like it. So the glazed cinnamon bun, uh, this one is cinnamon sugar bun, orange zest, vanilla glaze. And the reason I don't like it is it's too sweet. It's just like, it's really strong and just like intensely sweet. And some people love that. Uh, you guys know me, I'm not a big fan of like maple candles cause they're just too sweet for me or some caramel candles, it's just too much. And this falls into that category for me of just being kind of like sickening sweet. However, if you're the kind of person who likes like a maple scent or something like that, this doesn't smell like maple, but it's, it's sweet like that. It's just like intensely sweet. <laughs> um, I will say that on cold sniff, 
I get the orange. I totally get the orange on Cold Sniff, but when it's burning, I don't really. Like, maybe it's kind of still there. I don't know. It's hard for me to say because when it's burning, I'm like, I've burned it like three times now trying to make a decision about it, and I'm just like, ooh, I got to put this out. It is too much for me, but it just smells, it does smell like a cinnamon bun when it's burning. Really strong, really sweet. Uh, some people out there will love it. For me, it's too much. And I don't know what else to say about the orange note. Other than like I totally get it on cold, but I don't know that it really smelled it that much when I was burning. Okay, and then um, I also just got another banana bunt. Um, I love banana bunt cake. This one, I have like four from the first time that it came out, but I wanted to get another because it is quickly becoming like one of my top 10 Bath & Body Works favorites of all time. Like I think that, um, you know, <sighs> Yeah, maybe even in my top five, like right up there with like blueberry pie and peach meringue and some of my other all-time favorites. I really, really like this one. I think it's the best banana scent that they've done in my opinion. Uh, it smells a lot like banana bread, pretty authentic when it's burning. And I just find myself reaching for it a lot of times, like all year round. Like it always sounds like a good one to burn. I really like it. So if you didn't try banana bun cake first time around, if you like banana bread, you have to get this. It's so good. Really glad that they brought it back. Then I grabbed a Be Mine, just because it's cute and no other reason. Uh, this is a repackage of Pink Fairy Gumdrop, certainly. Uh, and I have one of those from Winter, so I, I, and it's like an okay scent, you know, I'm fine with it, but I have no need for more. Uh, but I had to get this one just because it's cute. And I love Valentine's Day and I love Valentine's Day decor. So totally up my alley. It has a cute little lid that says love on it. And I mean, just, they're going to sell a lot of these based on packaging alone. I mean, gosh, it's so just. So cute, so cute, had to get that, probably will never burn it. Okay, I've got a couple more that are not from that collection, but I also grabbed a frosted sugar cookie. This was the only one from this collection that interested me. Notes are vanilla frosting, warm brown sugar, and cookie crust. And when I first smelt this in the store, I thought, oh, I'm gonna pass on that, it seems too sweet. I thought it would be like the cinnamon bun and just be like too sweet for me. Uh, but actually, I did decide to try one and the reason I decided to try it is because like I needed to add one. I had like the 10 off 40 and I just needed to add something to get to 40. So I was like, I'll try this and I might end up returning it. Uh, but I actually really, I like it. I was really surprised how much I like it. It smells, so it is sweet. Don't get me wrong. It doesn't really smell like a cookie, kind of, maybe. Depends on the kind of cookie. To me, it smells more like a crumbly type dessert, like maybe like a crumb cake situation or something like that. Like I think Mary Cookie smells way more like an actual like sugar cookie than this one. Um, this one has a little bit of like a citrusy note to it maybe, and I don't know that I noticed that right away, but I I might get this wrong, but I think it was Mrs. Hess who noted this on Instagram that it kind of reminded her of the citrus sugar cookie soap. And I didn't think so at first, but now I agree. Like there is something that gives it a little bit more depth than just like a straight bakery scent. And it almost does have a tiny bit of citrus in there somewhere. Um, it is kind of like a like somewhat strong, like maybe a seven, but it's right where you want it to be. You wouldn't want it to be any stronger. It would be too intense and too sweet. Uh, but yeah, it's just like a, like a cakey dessert cookie situation. Uh, and I've just been, I've just been liking it. It's just like nice, but it does make me want to eat dessert. It does make me hungry. But yeah, I, I might get a couple more of those actually. Last candle, and then we'll talk about body care. Uh, tropical banana. So this was another one that I picked it up. So I, I did these are all these candles came in like four different transactions at different times. This was another day when I had to add something more and I was like, oh, let me just grab that. I'm going to take it home. I'm going to compare it to Banana Cabana side by side and then I'll return it if it's the same. Uh, and I really struggled with if it was the same as Banana Cabana or not. So the notes on Tropical Banana are fresh banana, creamy vanilla, hint of coconut, and on Banana Cabana, it's just sunkissed banana, sea spray, and warm vanilla. So like kind of the same, except this one says coconut, but I actually think Banana Cabana smells more like coconut than Tropical Banana. I, I knew that they smelled differently on Cold Sniff a little bit, but I didn't know if I could just chalk that up to like them being different like years, you know, and the Banana Cabana's old, it's been sitting on the shelf. I had to burn them both. And honestly, I think they are a little different. 
it feels to me like tropical banana is like improved. Like they took banana cabana and they improved it because I didn't really like banana cabana that much and I like tropical banana. It seems le like less coconut but more sweet and more banana. It's just more fruity. Um, so if you like banana cabana, like you should check out this version. I do think it's better. Banana cabana smells a little musty to me. A little too sour. I don't know. And Tropical Banana, it's definitely just sweeter and fruitier. It, it's very much the same, but new and improved. Uh, so like, but different. I think different enough. Um, I wish instead of having like two banana bananas, I had a couple of these instead. I'm keeping it. I'm keeping this one for sure. It's better. Let me know what you think. If you've tried both, because a lot of people were saying it's a repackage, but I just, I don't know, there's something different and I'm happy about it. Okay, so those are the candles that I got. Out of those, I'm gonna get more peach sugar cone for sure. A couple more frosted cookie, maybe one more passion fruit. I think that will probably do it for me. But now let's talk about the new body care. So several different lines came out. This was the only one I was really interested in, you know, being like a sweets person. Um, and of course the strawberry pound cake body care came out in this collection and everyone's going nuts about it. It doesn't smell good on me, the strawberry pound cake. It just doesn't. And I don't know why, I don't know what's up with that. It smells good in the bottle. And if it smelled like in the bottle or the tube or whatever, it smells to me like the candle does, which is good. But on my skin, I was totally getting when as soon as it like dried, um, there was a hand cream over the holidays that was something gumdrop. Uh, and that reminded me of the old Jingle Bell Berry hand cream, which kind of smelled exactly the same as the little hand cream that was called Blueberry. Uh, and all of those reminded me of the iced blackberries fragrance that came out years ago in both a soap and a hand cream. And all of those smell kind of like ginger, like fresh ginger root and like a berry fruity scent. Uh, and they all kind of smell the same. And I swear to God, strawberry pound cake, that's what it smells like on my skin, um, which is annoying because it doesn't smell like that in the bottle. And then I put it on and it has to share some kind of like base with that other fragrance. Um, I want to say that the, the wild blueberry body care that was also like that was a full body care line, right? It came out at the same time as a little tube. I think I ignored that one because I felt the same way about it. Like it smelled like this ginger scent. It all, it all goes back to iced blackberry and then they've just kind of changed that and put it in a bunch of different packagings and like tweaked it a little bit along the way. But they definitely have like this, this ginger note, fresh ginger, not like ginger spice, like, like ginger root. Um, that's in a lot of things. And for some reason, the strawberry pound cake body care that's what it smells like on me. And I don't really love that. Some people do, my mom does. Um, she likes that. She loved iced blackberries and all the other ones along the way, but I don't. And strawberry pound cake body care smells like that on me. Anybody else? Is there anybody else out there who that's what it smells like on them? It might just be me and my skin. I might just be weird. Um, if it smelled like the candle on me, I'd buy a ton of it because I like the way the candle smells, but mm -mm, I can't do it. So instead I just grabbed one of each of these and uh, I'll just say right now, not a fan, totally love it. So let's end on a positive note. Let's talk about margarita cupcake first. It's not that I don't like this one. I just, it's not what I expected. It doesn't smell anything like a cupcake. In fact, I would say there's no bakery in this at all. I don't even get vanilla in it at all. Uh, and it says there's key lime, sunny citrus blossom, whipped vanilla. No, I don't get a cupcake. I really don't. And when I smelled this in the store, I my first thought was like, what does this remind me of? It's sour. It's tangy and sour. There, there doesn't seem to be any bakery. It did occur to me right away that there seems to be some kind of coconut in there. But I was just getting like lime citrus coconut. And it wasn't until I got home that I realized it reminds me so much of the coconut lime verbena candle, which I do have one of those. And coconut lime verbena was a body care too, but I don't have that. But way back in the day, it was a body care. Side note, do any of you guys remember Limelight? Are you that old? Uh, because I'm 37 and when I was in junior high, they had a fragrance called Limelight and it was just like a lime. It was so good. I would like kill the smell that again, just to like bring me back. But anyway, anyway, um, <laughs> coconut lime verbena was a full body care line at one point. 
uh, and I have a coconut lime verbena candle and that's what this smells like. But I can tell you it smells like the candle. I don't know if it smells like the body care. I do have coconut lime breeze, which is newer, but it's not exactly the same as the verbena, I don't think. Um, but I did smell this side by side with coconut lime breeze. And that, the only difference is that coconut lime breeze is stronger. It's like more lime and it's just stronger. Uh, but this is giving me that kind of vibe. So if you like coconut lime verbena, like definitely go get this margarita cupcake right now because it's super similar to that. But yeah, I mean, you get lime. I don't know if I would say you get orange, but you get like a vague, just citrus medley. It just kind of smells like citrus, a little bit of coconut, but it's super sour. And that's why I'm just not into it. And I was expecting, like, I was expecting, like, a yummy, like, key lime pie type of body care. Like, something that was going to smell like cake and cupcakes, but, like, with lime. And I thought that would be really, really good because I love, like, citrusy desserts. Like, I love lemon bars and key lime pie and stuff like that. But no, there's, like, no bakery in this. So, yeah, not for me. Some people really like it. And some people really liked coconut lime verbena and coconut lime breeze and all of that. Um, but I would put this in that category. And I just kind of, I think I just like played out coconut lime breeze. Like I wore it a lot for a while. So I'm just kind of over it. But now let's talk about confetti cake pop. <sighs> Bath and Body Works. Why do you keep putting out really good vanilla scents? Because I could fill a bathtub with vanilla scents and <laughs> I don't need any more, but they're all a little different. So I want to get more of it. And I, I honestly just got this and when I was in the store, I smelled it and I thought, man, is that just Christmas cookies repackaged? You know, the one that just came out in the same line as Santa's blueberry shortbread, but it was in the red too, but it was called Christmas cookies. I still have some of that somewhere. Uh, Cause it does smell kind of the same, but the more and more I use it, and I definitely did like a one hand this, one hand Christmas cookies, they are different. They are totally different, but like, you know, they're both like vanilla sweet treat type of scents. Um, by the way, I did try combining these two to get what I was going for, but this one just kind of took over and overpowered so that it didn't, didn't work out. But um, the confetti cake pop, it is sweeter than Christmas cookies and Christmas cookies has like a little bit of like an almondy shortbread. It's very buttery and it really, it really reminds me of Christmas cookies. And the more I've used that, the more I like it. But this one smells more like cake and frosting. It's kind of similar, but actually kind of different. And the only thing about this one is, so like the strawberry pound cake and the margarita cupcake lasted forever. I put them out in the store. I could smell them. Did more shopping, went to the grocery store and all this stuff. Could still smell them. Uh, this one fades a lot faster, but it's so good when you're putting it on. And I've totally become addicted to just smelling it. And it does smell like a cake pop. And I just can't stop smelling it. <laughs> um, it is a basic vanilla. You know, and I, I have peach nights, I've got Christmas cookies, I think I've got a warm vanilla sugar somewhere. You know, I just have so much vanilla, I really need to stop myself from buying a lot of this. But I think I am going to at least buy it in a lotion too. Um, I think it's a really good vanilla scent. Sometimes with these vanilla scents, they can get a little weird after you've had them on for a while. So if this one doesn't turn weird at all, it's just yummy goodness and sweet. The scent kind of wears off quickly, but it is, it is cakey, frosting deliciousness uh so i am i am kind of hashtag basic into this confetti cake pop and we'll be getting more of that one so overall in this haul and i grabbed some other things when i was there too i grabbed like a tiki beach wallflower and scent portable because this is the time of year i really like to use tiki beach because it's a nice transition from winter to spring and there's still tons of snow and it's storming outside right now but tiki beach makes me think of happier times and sunnier weather. Um, you know, and I don't remember what else I got. I think I, oh, I got an Aloha Kiwi Passion Fruit uh, pocket back because I love that candle and the pocket back does smell just like the candle. So hoping that it'll like come out in other things and other forms, like maybe a soap and who knows after that. Uh, but yes, so uh, that was everything that I bought and certainly enough and I spent a lot of money and too much money. Uh, but you know, gotta treat yourself every once in a while. So um, yeah. That's it. That's all I have to say about the spring stuff. And since I kind of already did like post burn review, like I said, I mean, if I have more to say, I might just hop on here and say it. Otherwise, we'll see uh, when some new stuff comes out, which shouldn't be too much longer. I'll be back. And you can always follow me on Instagram at Candles and Music. Uh, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys later. Bye.